my channel. Today we're going to do another food tour. We're going to take you on our top three places to get boba in New York City. For my boba, I like it to be chewy and a little bit soft. I like it on the larger side, not the smaller side. It also has to be sweet. Not overly sweet, but sweet enough that it's more like a honey boba. So come along with us. Alright, we're here at our first location, Kung Fu Tea in Chinatown. This is actually founded in New York City. They have a lot of locations all over. They remake their boba every two hours so you know it's fresh. My personal favorite, you'll see when we go inside. Also, another disclaimer is that I do not like milk in my drinks. I don't like milk tea. So most of the drinks that we're going to be trying are regular tea drinks or fruity drinks. melony, subtle flavor. Actually, it doesn't have any caffeine in it because I didn't get the green tea one. Just a very good refreshing flavor. Yep. Slightly chewy and soft, sweet boba. It's really warm. You can tell it's like freshly made. And winter melon is one of their signature drinks. It sounds weird because usually winter melon you eat in those Chinese soups, but here it's it doesn't taste like that. The boba has this like caramelly taste. And for only $2.75 for the medium, and then extra for the boba, it's not too bad. that Boba Guys was $4.90 for a medium or 16 ounces with boba. So it's, it's a little more on the expensive side, but it's premium tea. You can tell that they really brew their tea there. You can taste the tea taste, but also the rose taste. Boba is really chewy, sweet, basically all that we love in boba, but as a topping. It's like perfect for those that want a sweet dessert or something like ice cream, but with a tea flavor. It has such a good tea taste, but it's refreshing because it's in a soft serve form. It's very delicious. Boba is super chewy too. As you can see in the timers, they remake their boba every two hours. That's how you know it's good. They also have other boba drinks. They have both milk teas, they have grapefruit teas. They also have lattes where you can add milk into any other of the drinks. Their menu is a little more limited than compared to Kung Fu tea. And this is a new contender. It's opened more recently in New York. And they were actually the ones that helped with the boba room. That's when I heard about them. So it's a new place where they're definitely doing some good things. Total for this was about over, a little over $5 because the soft serve itself was more $25 and then the boba is an extra $0.50. Cents. 
concludes the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We went to three different boba places. First we were at Kung Fu Tea, then we went to Boba Guys, and then we ended at Bar Pod Tea for their boba soft serve. So if you guys liked it, please give me a like and subscribe, and comment below what your favorite boba place is, or if you have any suggestions for me to try here in New York. So don't forget to comment, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!